I haven't done a demo review swatches video on a palette in quite some time and I just got in the new Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize Eyeshadow Palette which I believe they're calling it their holiday release. I got an email where I was able to purchase it off of the Charlotte Tilbury website so that's where I got it. It was a 72 hour exclusive drop for the eyeshadow palette but I'm sure it's coming to Beautylish, Sephora and then back on the Charlotte Tilbury website soon. And it is a $75 eyeshadow palette. There's a total of 0.33 ounces of product in 12 shades so that averages to be about 0 0.0275 ounces per shade or almost 0 0.03 so in terms of the amount of product that you're getting per shade it is on the smaller end comparing them to their quads that come with four shades each one of those is about 0 0.042 ounces per shade and our quads do run at $53 per quad so you are getting a little bit more product a little bit more bang for your buck with the larger eyeshadow palette comparing them to the quads with that being said the formulation of this palette compared to her older release that are in the larger 12 pan palettes. Um, this formulation is that um, comparable to her newest uh, quad formulation, which is absolutely beautiful. They're more buttery, more pigmented, have more sparkle and shine. They're just a really stunning formula, so I'm excited about it. Um, in terms of the shades that you're getting in here, um, there are very similar shades in this palette compared to all four of her last palettes that she came out like this, but the formula is where it's at. Like the shiny shades in this palette are so stunning. They're just very metallic and pretty. Um, this is the eyeshadow palette that I have on my eyes and there is a demo for this look using this palette towards the end of the video if you're interested in seeing that. Um, I did have to bring in two lighter shades. I tried to use the lightest shimmer shade in this palette and on my skin tone it just pulls kind of a mid-tone shade. So I brought in the Aether Beauty highlighter that I love to use kind of on the inner portion of my eye just to brighten that up for how I like to do my eyeshadow. And that's the Pure uh, Diamond Dust. I love this thing. And then the matte shades are also too deep for underneath the brow. So the matte and the shimmers uh, weren't light enough for underneath my brow bone. So I brought in Wet n Wild's Brulee eyeshadow. Even though this isn't a standalone eyeshadow palette for how I like to do eyeshadow I feel myself going to be reaching for this palette a lot because the formulation and the shine on those shimmers is just so pretty and there are more shimmers in here than there are mattes there's three mattes and nine of those really metallic shimmery shades like when I first opened this palette I thought that those were creams that's how like metallic they looked but they are a powder formula that picks up really well on the brush and they blend out beautiful the matte shadows in here are also stunning they blend out beautiful they have nice pigmentation to them it's just a very beautiful formula that I hope Charlotte Tilbury sticks with it's stunning I did like her older palettes like this but this one is just really revved up it's more amped up very pretty easy to work with super pigmented shades hopefully you can see that in the swatches um, I kind of got ahead of myself there because I'm really excited about the palette but let me show you the packaging this year's comes in like a silver crushed kind of a uh, uh, packaging it's all plastic on there with a little bit of a texture where the beams are at and then like her other palettes it does come with a plastic sheet in there with like a one two three and the different uh, trios with looks on there so you got happy glow love glow dream glow and seduce glow i never really follow those i just dip into whatever kind of shade i did get a little tiny bit of fallout with some of those shimmer shades but it brushed right off my face it didn't leave any marks or anything like that the back of the palette says it was made in italy and then here is the box packaging as well if you want to see kind of what that looks like with all the information on the back so here's the inside of the palette for matte shades you've got this brown kind of a mid-tone brown this deep burgundy and then kind of a little bit deeper brown right here which these two shades right here work really lovely in the crease for me they're deep enough this color I think in my crease looks just absolutely stunning with some of those shimmer shades so let me go ahead and give you guys some swatches <laughs> those mattes are so finely milled Look how beautiful those metallics are Oh, they're so pretty. Look at how smooth the mattes are too. Right? How pretty are those? Let me grab just a bit more of this guy for you guys. Oh, living for it. And then these next ones. I honestly don't feel like there's a dud in the entire palette.
and then these last four. The purple is a newer shade in these palettes, which I think is fun that they added that really pretty purple in there. Look at how pretty those are though. Oh gosh. They're so pretty. So those are all the swatches right there. When I ordered that palette, I also got this Charlotte's Jewel Pots Dual Eyes to Hypnotize, which is also a newer product from Charlotte Tilbury. It's in the Walk of No Shame. And there's 0.1 ounces or three grams of product in here. So that's a decent amount, but um, I really like this guy too. I hope she comes out with more shades of this. And the packaging on this is so pretty. It's very, very pretty. It's like a kind of a rubberized raised gem style top on there. And then there is a little stopper and you're supposed to keep that in there. And I tapped this ever so slightly on top of the lid and it did add a little bit more of a sparkle to the eye look. Um, the shiny shades in the palette are very like metallic. This adds a little bit of that sparkle because there's some very, very fine, fine uh, kind of micro glitters in there. They're like super fine though. So I just want to swatch this so you can see it next to the other shades. And it goes together um, really well with the palette too. So there's, you can see there's just a little bit of a sparkle factor in this guy because of those fine micro glitters. But that's the um, Walk of No Shame Jewel Pot right there. And I do like that as well. That's what it looks like in the little pot. So pretty. I don't even want to wipe those off. They look so pretty and smooth. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. And even though there aren't light enough shades for kind of, you know, those certain areas where I like a lighter eyeshadow, like underneath the brow and the inner corner, um, I can see myself getting a lot of use out of this guy. I really like this palette. The formulation again is just, it's really stellar. Now, if you're interested in seeing how I got the look that's on my eyes and how these shadows perform for me, you can hang tight and we will get into it right now. I'm going to take the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Foundation. This is 200 Fair Ivory on a Fenty 180 concealer brush. And I'm going to use that to prime my eyes. This has been my favorite um, primer. It's got a little bit of SPF in there and a little bit of hydration for my drier lids. And it holds shadow pretty nice. So just from the lash line to up underneath the brow there. Then using a Sonia G Blender 3 brush, I'm going to go into the first shade in the Dream Glow Quadrio. <laughs> I was going to say Quadrant. <laughs> it's the trio. And I'm going to pick this up and put it on the inner portion of the lid. So right here. This, it appears to be the lightest shade in the palette. But it's still... A little darker on me. I'm going to flip that brush over and go into a little bit of the first shade in the Love Glow trio and see if that's a little lighter. No, it's not. <laughs> ah. Okay, we'll just go back to that original shade in Dream Glow. Put it on the first half of the lid. My eyes have been so watery. From allergies. I've got a little bit of fallout here that I'm going to wipe off. Using that same brush, I'm going to go into the third shade in the Love Glow quadrant right here. Pick that guy up and finish off the lid blended into that other shade. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. These are super, super shiny. I, I'm living for it. They almost like when I opened up the palette, they looked like a cream, but they're not. They pick up really good on a brush too. I do need just a little pop of something lighter on that inner portion of my eye. So I'm going to take the Aether Beauty Pure Diamond Dust Highlighter, which I love this for an eyeshadow. And just using that same brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of that guy. I'm going to put it right here because I just need a little bit of brightness there. Then using a Chikahoto GSN 9 brush, I'm going to go into this deeper matte kind of burgundy red shade. I'm going to put that guy through the crease. I'm going to angle it upwards with the tail of my brow. 
This is how I contour my heavily hooded lid. I get a lot of questions on uh, my eyeliner. And I have very hooded, mobile kind of a lid right here. So like, if I were to, you could see how much like shadow is on there, right? And if I were to re relax my eyes, the crease of my eye actually comes down to here. <laughs> so even a thin liner, like trying to do a wing liner, that hood would just, you know, cover it up. So that's, um, I like my eyes to be very kind of cat-like and winged upwards. I give myself a little eye lift with the way that I put on eyeshadow and eyeliner. And if I don't do it like that, I just kind of look kind of tired. <laughs> so I'm going to take this through here. Oh, that is a pretty color. Very, very pretty burgundy color. Then using a Sonia G mini booster brush, I'm going to go into this shade right here underneath the Happy Glow. It's a matte kind of mid-tone brown shade. And I'm going to use that to blend out that burgundy. Ooh. Back in with my Chikohoto just to really buff those two kind of together, not picking up any more product. I typically like to just stick with a palette, but the shimmers aren't kind of light enough. That's why I added that shiny one in the inner corner. And then the mattes aren't, there's no light enough shades for any the brow there either. So I'm going to take good old Wet n Wild Brulee on a Esom G29 brush. And I'm going to put that guy underneath the brow. Then I'm going to take that mini booster, and I'm not picking up any more product, but I'm just going to really kind of blend these together here. And then just to see what this will do, uh, I picked up the Charlotte's Jewel Pots in Walk of No Shame. It's in this little pot here, and I'm going to just take my finger and dab it in here and put it over the top since they're kind of corresponding shades anyway and see if that adds any more sparkle granted these are very sparkly already well not sparkly but they're really metallic so see if this puts some yeah it does it adds a wee bit of shine on there oh gosh i am really <laughs> i really like this eye look I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. I got a little sample of the collagen lip bath in my order so that's what I have on my lips. I'm going to wipe that off real quick. Um, this kind of feels nice. It's really thick. And then for the lips I've got the M Cosmetics Fawn Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liner. I have been really loving these M Cosmetics lip liners. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this guy. And then for lipstick, I have to use the Kim KW lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury as well. I'm just going to fill my lips in and I'm going to really blend it into that lip liner. And there is the overall finished look using the new Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize Eyeshadow Palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching and do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.